Well, all right, welcome back. Hey, we're gonna pick right back up where we left off. Previously, we had the Square D size two motor starter. Got the same setup here, a size two. But today we wanna go a little deeper and we're gonna show you how to change the operating coil out of the starter. This one has a burned up coil. So uh, we wanna pull the name plate, this top cover. Don't worry about the housing screws, just pull the top two screws out. We'll go ahead and pop that off for you. Two little easy screws. Pull those off and just go ahead and set your cover to the side. You'll see right here the whole coil pack, the whole coil and the iron, the steel uh, around it's going to come with it. So just grab it from the side. Careful not to drop your iron out. We'll set the starter to the side for a second. All right, you got your coil just like that. That's the electric operating coil. And then in the back of it, we've got our iron, which is the magnet portion. We're going to take that out and lay that out. And then take our new coil, which is in the box here. This is a surplus coil we had on the shelf. Pop him out. 120 volt jobby there. Got a little dust on him, wipe him down. So you take your bad coil, set him to the side. Take your new one just like this. Pop your iron in. Pop that second piece in. Always make sure you got free travel there. If you flip it over, you'll notice it has front written right here. The front is written where you can go towards the front of the coil. Once that's in there, you see it moves freely. Take your body of your starter. And this little white flap here, sometimes it wants to fight you right here on this end. Easy way around that is to push that little button when you start to install it. So grab the iron and the coil. Got little slots you gotta line up right here. You'll see these little slots right here and right here. That's where the ears of your your uh, armature go. So line those slots up here. Once you line those up, usually it'll try to hang right here in the front. You just take and operate that bad boy. She'll fall right in. Once it does, make sure you've got free travel and you'll be able to tell the armature sliding up in the housing there. You'll be able to tell that. You don't want it to bind because when you put power on it, it's just going to buzz and it'll make smoke. It won't make money. All right, put your cover back on. Reinstall your screws. Of course, we don't have test power for this video, but what we would normally do is we would take this, we would isolate a power source we would connect it to our two coil leads here and go direct just for a test shot and we would push button turn the coil on and make sure it's operating so that's really easy uh, make sure there's no mechanical binds once it's all back together everything falls right back into place so that's what you do if you want to change out the coil line any questions or comments just leave them below appreciate all your watching all your support god bless